Let's look at one of civilization's expert features. The option to record your own basic scales and volt map scales for the built-in quantizer. By default, Civilization features eight predefined scales, from major and minor to more exotic ones like diminished or alien alloy. You can edit and replace any of these with your own scales. Basic scales can be recorded in modes 1, 2 and 3. We'll pick mode 1 and load the init preset by pressing and holding the mode button while short pressing the bottom right encoder. Here, from the performance page, long pressing the first left-hand encoder will take you to the quantization menu of config page 1. This is where you can enable and configure quantization for all four outputs. Using any right-hand encoder, you can select one out of eight user-editable scales for the desired output. The chromatic scale, indicated by a white LED, is read-only and cannot be edited. All other scales, from yellow to ruby, can be edited and replaced. How do we program our new scale into civilization? The easiest way to accomplish that is by using a CV gate keyboard. Let's hook up the keyboard's pitch CV output to Civilization's input 1. The gate output goes into the CVA input. Now, we need to patch output 1 into the pitch CV input of an oscillator. Make sure you can hear what you're playing on the keyboard. And let's start programming. In the quantization menu of config page 1, pick a scale that you'd like to replace. Next, long press the right-hand encoder. All four mode LEDs light up and all encoder LEDs turn a bluish-white colour. Civilization is now waiting for you to input your notes. Using the keyboard, you can now enter the notes you would like to be included in your scale one by one. The order in which you enter the notes doesn't matter. The octave isn't important either. Civilization will sort it all out for you. By the way, notes are registered when a gate signal is received, so no legato playing, folks. Once you've finished entering your notes, press any encoder to exit. You can now try out your new scale. Any note that doesn't belong in the scale will be corrected and shifted to the nearest in-scale note. Now, let's see what the quantizer will do with an LFO signal connected to input 1. As you can hear, the LFO is playing all notes in the scale. Up. Down. or alternating, depending on the waveform of the LFO. Basic scales shine when used with a keyboard or other CV sources that put out chromatic voltages. Alternatively, connect a random CV source or a step sequencer and enjoy the resulting melodies that's all you need to know to make your own basic scales. And now, for the experts, let's go for something even more sophisticated. Volt map scales. What's so special about these? Up until now, we've been dealing with basic scales. For these, our quantizer divides each one volt range into the usual 12 steps. The user can determine which of these 12 steps are to be included or excluded in the basic scale. Now, with the volt map scale, we give you the option to map a sequence of one up to 32 voltages equally across the range of one volt. Once recorded, you can scan through this volt map scale with any CV source. The results can be far out, as you're about to hear. 
But first things first. To record your vault map scale, first pick a quantization scale that you'd like to replace. Next, long press the right-hand encoder as if you were recording a basic scale. Now, long press the right-hand encoder again. The mode buttons 1 and 4 will light up. Now, using the keyboard, you can input up to 32 notes for your vault map scale. Here, it does matter in which order you enter the notes. We'll go with a 16-note sequence here. The last note entered is not part of the scale, but instead determines the way the scale gets transposed across several octaves. Here, in our case, this repetition interval is a minor third. For your regular octave transposition, make sure the last note entered is an octave above the first note. If you don't want any transposition across the octaves, the last note entered has to be the same as the first one. When you are done entering your scale, press any encoder to finish. Regardless of what your first note is, the new scale will be mapped to C in the zero volt octave. When entering more than 12 notes, values can end up between keys, so to speak. So keep that in mind if you want to play the volt map scale with your keyboard. Let's take a triangle LFO and feed it into input one. As the voltage slowly rises, you can hear our volt map scale being played back in the same order as we programmed it. Our scale increases in pitch by a minor third with each volt added to the input. When the triangle LFO is falling, our scale plays in reverse order. Ramp up the LFO speed for some fun and wacky results. You can also connect a static CV source, like pressure points, to manually scan through the vault map scale. Random CV values from the Wogglebug module, for instance, will give you some interesting results as well. The more often you enter a specific note, the more likely it is to show up. Feel free to experiment and expect some happy little accidents. That's why we love modular synthesizers, right? Let's add another twist by adding a second voice to our patch. For the first voice, we'll record a 16-step scale with a minor third as the repetition interval. For the second voice, we'll connect our keyboard's pitch CV output to Civilization's input 2, while output 2 goes to the second VCO's CV input. Next, we need to pick a scale to be replaced with our second volt map scale. Let's record the scale, again with 16 steps, but this time with a descending minor second as our repetition interval. With a negative repetition interval, pitch will gradually decrease as we increase the input voltage. Let's listen to the result of using an LFO as the CV source for inputs 1 and 2 with their respective volt map scales. As you can hear, it sounds kind of atonal, but there is order to the seeming chaos of our pattern. We used the different repetition intervals to create some really interesting counterpoint-like structures.
All scales can be restored to their original factory state via the Global Functions menu. But we'll do another video dealing with that. And if this all sounds a little tricky, feel free to consult our user guide for more in-depth info on the Vault Map scales. Check out our other videos on the four modes, more expert features, advanced tricks and musical examples. Bye for now.